So this whole DMARC thing still keeps looming over your head? Maybe you put off making any changes because it sounds overwhelming and scary. Well, it's setting up the records is quite literally as easy as one, two, three. But don't take my word for it. Let our senior deliverability manager, Desi, show you all how it's done. And the first step will be to add your domain. You're forwarded to the sender domain tab and you have this button here, add sender domain, you click on it and you type or paste your own domain. The one that I will use today is this one. This is suava.store. Uh, you click on continue and then you will be forwarded to the domain authentication page. Here's the place where, uh, where you see the records you need to add with uh, some uh, guidance on that same page. So first thing we need to do is copy the value. We will start with the SPF record. We copy it and we go. In my case, that will be GoDaddy's website, but that can look different for every single hosting provider. So if you don't know again where that is, just contact their support. They will show you how to reach your DNS settings. For GoDaddy, we need to click on these dots here, choose domains. You'll see the domains you own in here. And to access the DNS section, you need to click here DNS on the left side. Okay. We click on add new record. We choose the type. For all these three authentication protocols, we need to use TXT type. So here we go. For SPF, the name record will be add sign. You even have it suggested here by GoDaddy. So we put add, we leave it like that. And we paste the value we just copied from our Omnisend account. We do not change the detail here. We leave the default one and we click on save. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see that the record we just added, it's already, is already here. Let's go back to our Omnisend account and copy the name value of the DKIM record. As simple as that, just click on copy. We're back here, adding a new record. Again, choosing TXT type and pasting the name value. Something important I need to add here is that some hosting providers, GoDaddy including, has that domain part here at the end already added on the back end. So Pasting it here like that will make the domain duplicated. It will appear twice at the end. I will leave it like that for now so you can see the error message go that it will display. But it's possible that some hosting providers do not display the same error message. So if you see that your DKM record is not propagating on time, it gives you some errors. You go back here and delete the name part and try again. It will probably work. We leave it like that now and we go back here to our Omnisend account to copy the actual value of the DKM record. We copy it and we paste it here. We don't change, any, change anything. We make sure we copy and paste the exact same value and we don't change the TTL. We click on save and here's the error message I was telling you about. We want to keep this one with the do domain name added just once. We don't want the duplicated one. If you see that error, always choose the first option. That's how it should look. And we click on save. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see the new TXT record added. Okay. And now we need to go back here and do the same for DMARC. We copy the name value. Again, same thing with the domain goes for DMARC. You may want to check how your hosting provider does it, if they add it by default or not. If they add it, copies only the first part. If they don't add it, copy and paste the whole thing. Okay, new record. One more time, txt, pasting. I will leave it like that again so you can see the error that will be displayed and choose the correct option. And now we are copying the tmark here and 
pasting it. There's something else that's really important to mention here. If you already have existing DMARC record for your domain with a different policy that's working well for you, please don't replace it with the one we provide. We provide the most simple one, which actually do not protect your domain the same way it will be protected you have if you have a different policy here. This one is what is enough for you to be compliant with the new requirements. But if you already have existing DMARC record that is working for you, there's no need to replace it with the one we provide. Just leave the one you already have and you'll be fine. We click on save. Again, we choose the first option in here and we're all done with the records. You can see the three of them added. Uh, at the bottom of the page. Let's go back to our OmniSend account and see what will happen when we click on verify. You probably notice this message at the top of the screen that there is a propagation time, usually up to 24, sometimes even 48 hours. That happens really rarely, but still. This means that when I click on verify now, we might still see some errors. Some of the records not, might, may not be propagated yet. This doesn't mean that we did something wrong or there is an error. We just need to come back here later and check again. If after 24 hours you still see an error and you're sure that you're added the, the records proper, properly, please contact us. Send us screenshots from your DNA zone. Uh, we'll have a look and guide you through the steps like we'll explain what needs to be changed and uh, yeah we'll help you verify everything let's see okay so we have SPF record added successfully DKIM added successfully and DMARC added su successfully we have luck this time we click again on verify yeah all good we can now go back and the next step we need to do is choose the domain we want to use for our campaigns. If you don't change this from here, you will be still using our shared domain. That's the default option. So when you verify the domain, you make sure you go here and choose the custom domain you already verified. And that's it. You're all set.